What's up everyone? How to install Automatic 11.11 and Stable Diffusion on your Windows with automatic updates? Let's go into that. There are a couple of requirements that you need to check before installing Automatic 11.11. The first requirement is to have Python 3.10.6 and you can check your Python version by writing CDM in your Windows tab and then here you write Python version. You need to have this version 3.10.6. If you have higher version, you might face some issues, so make sure that you have this version. If you don't have this version, you can go to python.org and then you go to downloads and all releases. Here, once you are in this page, you can search for 3.10.6. Here, you click download and go down here. Here, you have the Windows installer. You press on it and you execute the installer. For my case, I already have the 3.10.6, so make sure you have this one. The second requirement is to install Git. If you don't have already, you can go to this website, which is in the description, and download it. Once it is downloaded, you can install it and config with your account. Once you update your Python version and install Git, you can go to this website, which is in the description. And once you're here, you can copy this git command, which will clone the stable diffusion web UI. So you copy this command, you open again the command line, and here you can paste this command and press enter. After the clone is completed, you can go to this folder, your disk C and users and the user where you install it, so it is here. And then, once you are here, you can search for your folder, which is Stable Diffusion Web UI. You open it, and now, before the next step, we need to download a model into this folder, Models, and then Stable Diffusion. You can see here this file to put our Stable Diffusion checkpoints here. For that, you go to the description of the video, and you open this website. It is the interface where the models are, and you need to download this file, this pickle file. You can also download this one, but it is way bigger. So I recommend to start to download this one. So you press here, it will start the download and it will take a while. Now that the download is finished, make sure that you leave the file here. After this step, you go again to Stable Diffusion Web UI and you go down. And here in Web UI User Path, you open this to edit it and here you need to insert the python path to your python version so how do you make this to make sure that the path is correct you open the windows tab and then you search for python in my machine i have 3.9 and 3.10 make sure that you select the version that is the correct one 3.10.6 of course then you right click on that and then you open the file location. Once you are here, take a look at this, because this is a shortcut. So you need to go again with a right click and open the file location. And once inside of this folder, you select the python.x, press right click, and then you copy the path of this file. Then you come back to the web UI user.path and at set python, you paste it. Here, we need to do one more important thing. You go here and you write git pull. This is what will trigger an update every time that you start automatic 11.11. So it is important to have it here. Now you can close this and make sure that it's safe. Now you can close this and you come back again to the web UI user bat and double click it. It will start running the automatic 11.11 it will create an environment and download a couple of more files and this will take a while so make sure that you wait for that and you don't close this window. So once it is completed you go to this URL which is running on your local machine and in your web browser you paste it. And here you have automatic 11.11 running on your computer. It's very important that you don't close this command tab because it is running these services. So if you stop this, it will go down. 
and you have to run it again. So basically, you can go here to the stable diffusion checkpoint, and if it is, is empty, you can select the one that you downloaded before. Another important thing here are the extensions. So here in the tabs, you can go to extensions, and here in available, you should have this URL. You click on load from, and here you have a lot of the extensions that you can try it and test. Well, but before installing any extension and test it, let's just test the automatic 1111 and stable diffusion using text to image. To test it, let's write colorful parrot. We'll use Euler A and 512 by 512. You press generate and as you can see, it is working perfectly and it generated a very cool image though this image is pretty cool. So if we generate another image, for example, of a cat, we can see here in this tab that it is running. So make sure that you don't close this tab while the automatic 1111 is running, at least if you need it. Because if you close this, this won't work anymore and you will have to start it again. And here you can see the time that it takes to generate this image. I'll image that I tested takes between 3 and 5 seconds and I'm using a RTX 3060 for the laptop. If you have any questions regarding graphic cards make sure that you go to the link that I will leave in the description that will lead you here which give you some configurations for graphic cards with 4 gigabytes of memory. If you have any question leave a comment below and make sure that you subscribe to the channel because I'll be posting a lot of videos regarding automatic 1111 and stable diffusion. I think this tool is awesome and we should learn how to use it. I hope to see you around, cheers, bye.